says it's on the subject of marriage to an unbeliever. All right. This person says, what are your viewpoints on 1 Corinthians? 1 mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 7, verses 15 to 16. I don't have no view on it. No That's view right. on it. But I tell you what God said. That's right. Yeah. See, my view don't mean nothing. No. That's right. But leave it to me, I wouldn't care what you do. You can marry Ronald McDonald for all I care. That's right. That's but right. it's my job to point it to the book. That's it. Yeah. All right, let's see what the book says. First uh -huh. Corinthians chapter 7 and at verse 15. Yeah. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. All right, that's dealing with someone that's in the church married to someone that's not in the church. Mm -hmm. that's see, right. it, it, it's not like what your preacher been telling you. Hey, that's viewer, right. hey, don't you touch that television. Get your hands off of it. That's, that's right. right. You see, I'm about to bother you now because you see why you're looking at me now? Mm -hmm. You see that girl in the bed with you? Yes, yes. You ahead. know that's your second wife. That's right. You know it. Oh, yeah. All right, I give you time. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> girl, Amen. you know I'm talking to you. Amen. That's right. I, I, that's why you're pulling that shit up over you now. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Stop grinning. That's right. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Man. Go ahead. That's right, sir. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> right. Glory to God. I love this. That's Amen. Right. What did he say there? But if the unbelieving depart. Now hold it. What the preacher tell you is this. Mm -hmm. That if you both were sinners. Uh -huh. Go ahead, folks. When you got married. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. And one come to Christ. Right. The one that came to Christ can divorce the sinner. That's right. Use a liar. That's right. Hebrews because this scripture mm -hmm. is actually dealing with a believer married to a unbeliever that's right a sinner married to a saint that's right one in the church that's married to someone that's not in the church and the woman which hath an husband the woman that hath a husband that believeth not that don't believe and if he be pleased to dwell that with her unbeliever if that sinner that she's married to want to stay there let her not leave him no divorce him and get another husband let her not leave him. no divorce him and get a new christian let her not that's leave him love. Don't leave them. That's right. But what? But if the unbelieving depart. But if the unbelieving depart. Let him depart. Let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. Hold on. Hold on. That's right. Break it down, sir. Break it down. A brother. That's right. Or a sister. Not under bondage. Is not under bondage. In such cases. So when you read that, you thought you was free and out of marriage. That's right. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm not bound now, Pastor Dennis. Right. And you and your church are shot. Oh, I'm free. Ooh. That's, That's right. right. Keep, keep coming, my kid. That's right. Sir. All right. That's all right. right. Just keep that head still. That's keep right. it still. You That's ain't right. free yet. The That's wife right. is bound. Because now you can't have no scripture contradicting the other. Right. Here's the scripture that says you're not in bondage in such cases. In such cases. But now you got in the same book. First Corinthians same 7. Same chapter. And verse 39. But another verse. The wife is bound. The wife is bound. By the law. How long? As long as her husband lives. Now go up to the other verse. At verse 38. No, let's go up to the other verse where she, they're not a, in bondage. A brother or, or a sister. verse. Verse 15. Listen. First Corinthians chapter 7. But what? A brother or a sister not is bondage. not under bondage in such cases. Go up to verse 14. Let's see what they're not in bondage of what case. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. Yeah. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Yeah. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. And what? But if the unbelieving depart. Here it is. This is the subject is dealing with. Right. Leaving. That's right. Leaving. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. They're not dealing with the marriage is over. No. no. It's dealing with leaving from under the same roof. That's it. Right. Huh? That's right. You, you, you overlook. Look that. That's right. You forgot the word depart. But if the unbelieving depart. If the unbelieving depart. Let him depart. And what? A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. But what? But God hath called us to peace. Now, that means this. The reason why God called us to peace because there was a confusion there. Right. right. Huh? That's, That's right. Because right. there may be a case where that man and woman just can't get along. Can't get along <laughs> so if she depart or if he depart, mm -hmm. this is where the scripture justifies separation. Separation, that's right. Not under bondage. He can move to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. She may move to Florida. That's right. But you're still bound mm -hmm. because you're both still alive. But and if she depart, it is written, it is written, it is written. Amen. Give chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 11. It says what? But and if she depart, if she do leave, let her remain unmarried. No, let her get a new man. Let her remain unmarried. The preachers out there say get a new man. Let her remain unmarried. Let her start dating somebody else. Let her remain unmarried. Let her start getting engaged to somebody else. Let to remain unmarried but suppose she want a man what she got to do or be reconciled to her husband Go back. 
That's right. You got to go back. That's right. Huh? That's right. You got to go after you leave. After you leave. After you leave now. Uh -huh. Amen. You done left that man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's right. And now you want a man in your life. Right. What should she do? Or be reconciled to her husband. Come back. That's right. Come on back. Take me back. Take me back. <laughs> Take me back, dear Lord. You got to come back. That's right. right Reconcile to her husband. To her husband. Her husband. So if you can't get along, the Bible justifies separation. That's right. You don't have to live under the same roof. No. He can live in another house. She can live in another house. That's right. But regardless of where you go, you're bound by the law of marriage law. until someone dropped dead. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. You see, you young generation don't believe it. No, That's don't. why you get married with the prenup. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's it. That's Go right. ahead. Marry with the intent Go ahead. to divorce. That's, That's right. right. Anytime you marry a woman and she got a living husband, ahead, brother. brother, and you never been married, right. you living in fornication. But the woman is living in adultery, in adultery because she got the living wife, That's living right. husband. That's right. That's right. On the other hand, That's right. brother, Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. if you marry a woman, and she never been married before. That's right. But you already got an existing wife. You are living in adultery, mm -hmm. and she is living in fornication because she never had a husband. That's right. That's right. That's right. Both held responsible. That's right. Sit not at all. Oh yeah. Now. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> listen. Go ahead. I want to go toe to toe with you. Toe to toe now. Because this subject, Wonderful. I get thousands of letters about. Amen. 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 Right, folks, don't bow when I talk about Jesus love you for this. I know because the Bible told me so. That's right. That's right. The moment you bother a man's second wife oh, yeah. and a woman's second husband, that's right. My God, you're in trouble. That's right. Because they look at the car they bought together, mm -hmm. the bank account they got together, right. the house they got together, children, children. the children they got together. That's right. Oh, yes, sir. That's right. And all God is looking at what he said. What that's he right. said. Now listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse 9. All right, viewer. Sit. Get this. Mm -hmm. Get this, viewer. Amen. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse 9. Yes. Sit not at all. Sit not at all. With another man's wife. Amen. Amen. Another man's property. That's right. That's right. Sit not at all. At all. With. With. Another man's wife. No, go out to dinner with her. Sit not at all with another man's wife. Take her for a date. Sit not at all. That's right. Not at all. That's, that's another man's car. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Sir. They got that car is parked just for him to ride on. That's it. Are you getting what I'm telling you? <laughs> that's right. Well, that's you right. keep looking at the tires. <laughs> <laughs> The holy book says, sit not at all. No, do it sometimes. Sit not at all. Take a break once in a while. Not at all. With who? With another man's wife. Another man's wife. Another man's wife. Then what? Nor sit down with her in thine arms. You can't even hug another man's wife. That's right. That's right. Don't hug her. That's right. Don't touch her. Hmm. Another man's wife, Amen. I said some other man's property. That's right. Don't hug her. Nor sit down with her in thine arms. Don't even sit down with her. In thine arms. In your arms. And. Uh, we got some more. Amen. And. Spend not thy money with her. Right. My Lord. <laughs> Amen. Anytime a woman is married, brother. My Lord. If that woman is married, mm -hmm. you should not be buying another man's wife nothing. That's right. That's nothing. That's right. Sir. Nothing at all. My Lord. <laughs> well, Pastor Jenna, but, 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 but take it up with God. That's right. That's right. Take it up with God. With him. Amen. Amen. But, 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 don't go back firing me on me now. Take <laughs> it up with God. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right, I God, you folk write me, pleading with me as if I can change the book. I yeah. can't change the book. No, no. no. Another man's wife. Another that's man's another wife. man's property. That's right. Don't buy her nothing. That's right. That's right. Spend not thy money with her. Don't spend your money with her. At the wine. At what? At the wine. 
Taking her out for dinner. That's right. Another man's wife. Another man's wife. Well, Pastor Jenner, what you expect for me to do? He went on and got married. I have needs too. You have need of God. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Need of God. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Hmm. God, this, 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 you want some Easter? <laughs> here's, a, here's a broken egg right here. Broken egg. <laughs> Look at all this stuff is in this basket. That's right. Huh? That's sit right. not at all with another sit man's wife. Sit not at wife. all with another man's wife. Nor sit down with her Don't in thine arms. Don't sit down with her in thine arms. And spend not thy Don't money with her. Don't spend no money with her. At the wine. At the wine. Lest thine heart incline Lest, unto her. Why do God advise you not to spend money on that other man's wife? Lest thine heart decline, incline but unto now, her. Now you're going to start wanting her. That's right. And you want her another man's wife through thy desire through thy desire thou fall into destruction that's right as long as that man live amen he can come pop up on his wife anytime that's right that's his wife that's right that's true well i got a bit of divorce that don't work today that don't work today that's on the moses law that's right so I said, well, God allowed it, Moses allowed it. Moses allowed it, that's right. That's, right. that's, that's where you got it wrong. That's, that's right. right. You said God allowed it back then. No, Amen. he did not. Matthew. Moses allowed it. That's right. God said from the beginning. It was not so. It wasn't so. That's right. From the beginning, I didn't purpose it. That's right. That's why I said Moses, because of the hardness of your, of your heart. Not God, not God, because of the hardness of your heart. That's right. That's, right. that's, right. that's what you overlook. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Moses, Moses. Because of the hardness of your heart. Why it never Moses said did? God. That's right. Because of the hardness of your heart. That's right. It said Moses. Moses. That's right. You overlook that. Amen. Huh? Amen. <laughs> Come on, son. In Matthew Amen. chapter 19 and verse 7. What is it? They say unto him, why did Moses then? Why did Moses then? Command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away. Mm -hmm. Hey, you divorced Christian. That's right. Mm. You know, got somebody else's wife and got somebody else's husband. Here you married another man's wife and here she married another woman's husband. That's right. You both got living companions. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hmm. I hope you don't have to leave Baltimore because I'm the, you know, you the host, I'm the guest. Amen. That's right. Stick around now. That's right. I know it's just getting warm good. That's Amen. right. <laughs> you that are watching, don't, don't turn your television off. Mm -hmm. That's right. Don't turn it off. Yeah, just stay there. Stay That's right there. And behold the manner. Look That's at right. this now. They say unto him, why did Moses then? This is one of the most touchiest subjects yes, in is. the world today. Yes, it is. Amen. Because Amen. the preachers today justify remarriage and divorce today. today. Right. And practically every preacher that justified, Amen. I guarantee, he done been married two, three, or four times. That's right. He's in it. That's right. I right, listen to the old man. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorce? Yes. And to put her away. What happened? He saith unto them, Moses. Moses. Because of the Moses. hardness. Moses. Moses. My God. That's right. Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered he you. He suffered you. To put away your wives. To put away your wives. But from the beginning. But the Lord said from the beginning. It was not so. But not so. Amen. So, when the Bible says you're not in a bondage in such cases, the Bible justifies separation. That's right. right. Amen. You just can't get along. That man slapping you, there's no woman in her right mind going to tolerate that. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Man slapping that woman, beating that woman around, kicking and stomping that woman, no woman should tolerate it. No way. Is that right? That's right. So, if you do separate, you're mm -hmm. not under bondage in such, such cases. cases to tolerate his foolishness, right. but you're still bound still by bound. the law right. of marriage as long as you both shall live. As you live. That's what that is. That's, That's right. right. All right, next letter. Come on, Dan. This person mm -hmm. asks a question on women's attire. All right. The person says, Pastor Jennings, I want to know if women visitors are expected to dress like women members of your church if they attend the service at your church. No. Mm -hmm. Any woman that's a visitor, we just want her to come in here. It's like we want a brother coming here. That's right. I don't care what you got on when you come in here. Come on in here. That's Amen. right. You got hot pants on. Come on in here. Amen. That's right. We're just going to preach the word of God. Amen. You can't scale a fish till you catch it. Amen. Let Amen. the word of God prick your heart. We know the Bible says, cover up the shame of thy nakedness. Right. Amen. But why are you going to try to cover up when you come in here and then go out there and get naked again? That's right. 
But when the word of God prick your heart mm -hmm. Amen. and that heart start moving towards God, right. you will start being ashamed. Shame, shame face. You have shame faces. Shame faces. And because of the shame faces, because of the scriptures convicting you, you'll start making some changes. That's right. That's right. That's right Paul. And everything you hear the Bible speak against, you'll find yourself slowly but surely adjusting to it. That's Amen. right. So if you come in and don't have a dress on, uh, and ain't no one no, no. gonna come to you. Don't come in here with no pants on. Come on in here. Come on in they here. better not come to you. That's, That's right. That's right. If a man come in here with a dress on, don't bother him. Don't bother That's him right. either. That's right. Come on, let, let, let his ashy knees come in here. That's right. Lord, that God, by the time the word of God done with that Mr. Man. Right. Amen. It, it, it'll get a hold of him. Yes, it will. Bible said a woman shall not wear that which pertain to a to man. man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so is an abomination. That's right. It's an abomination. Abomination to the Lord thy God. It's like some of you Muslim sisters out there. You have the right hair covering with skin tight jeans. That's right. <laughs> when the world gonna be thinking about Allah looking at your backside with tight jeans. Amen. That's right, sir. No, you won't. Cover that stuff up. Cover it up. That's just like you so-called Christian women. You go into church with Bibles, breasts all hanging out, babies crying. That's right. <laughs> Don't know who their mama is. Amen. Cover that stuff Cover up. up. That's Amen. right. There's more negative women in churches than it is in the street. That's, That's right. right. It's true, sir. And the preachers don't say nothing because they love to see it. That's right. That's right. And they love to have it. Love That's when the moment the preacher shake your hand, mm -hmm. he don't look at you in your eyes. That's right. God bless you. My <laughs> Lord. God bless you. That's right. The Lord really been good to you. That's right. You old goat. <laughs> That's right. You understand. That's right. Come on, let's have it. Amen. My God, man, you don't read so much apart. your Bible falling apart. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on, son. Sit not at all with another man's wife. That's still intact, though, isn't it? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Sit not at all with another man's wife. Nor sit down with her in thine arms. To do what? And spend not thy money with her at the wine. Yeah. Lest thine heart incline unto her. That's why Amen. God advised you not to do it. You start getting so into her, and you're getting into what belonged to another man. That's right. All right? That's right. And so through thy desire do thou fall. Through your desire you fall. Into destruction. Into destruction. Give me right. some more of that. Forsake not an old friend. Forsake not an old friend. For the new. All right, that's going into another subject. Amen. I'll get that later. All right, come on, Dan. This person has a question on salvation all right Chris says how can I be saved if I have committed two horrible sins how can I get my relationship right with God I'm pretty sure you and everybody else committed more than two sins oh right. yes <laughs> is that right that's right how many here just commit two sins just tell two. a lie and raise your hand <laughs> amen you better not better amen. not that's right everything in here committed numerous of sins oh yes now have mercy upon me listen at this in psalms 51 and at verse 1 what is it have mercy upon me O god yes according to thy loving kindness mm -hmm. according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies yes blot out my transgressions you got to cover for god with a broken and contrite heart that's right yeah. this is how you can be saved now let's analyze the word save save means to be delivered from that's, that's right. right so for the god the first thing god wants you to do after you hear the divine message of truth mm -hmm. is repent you can. After you hear the word of God, the first thing you do when you hear it, you got to consider what you heard. Amen. And after you consider what you heard, then you got to begin to move towards what you heard by repentance. That's why the Bible talks about how when they heard this, they were pricked. They were pricked in their heart. In their heart. If mm -hmm. anybody's heart is pricked, they all want to get themselves right. That's right. But your heart got pricked. to be pricked. The word of God, the God of heaven works on your heart. That's right. Man. That's why you'll find that man now want to stop smoking, want to stop partying. That woman want to stop drinking. She want to stop prostituting. She want to stop wearing artificial hair and lead stick on nails. And amen. All the amen. That's right. Man. He want to stop wearing toupees. He want to stop arching his eyebrows. He want to get the, the, the nose jewels out That's and right. the earrings off and be outside half, half naked because conviction now. That's right. It's working. When there's conviction, there's shame. That's right. When they heard this. You got to be shame about your wrong. That's, That's right, right, sir. Excellent, sir. You don't have no shame. You'll be out in the public like an animal and don't mind who see you. That's true. That's why you can see the young people today, middle-aged and old, mm -hmm. out in public now, no shame. Amen. They'll be standing at a red light, just shaking. <laughs> That's right. No okay. shame. No shame. Come in church, can't even hardly lift their hands and clap. That's right. Do it the cute way. 
That's right. <laughs> Out there in the world when they was a sinner going to party. That's right. That's right. Amen. Just oh, yeah. snapping and moving and jumping, yeah. hair falling all out, just shaking. That's right. Till you're dizzy. That's right. Amen. Now when you come to church, you're too cute. Cute. Oh, yeah. Clothes cost too much. That's right. Too dainty. Too dainty. Too, dainty. <laughs> too proper. Amen. Got a proper Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He's some of my shire. <laughs> Go ahead, got, you know, got a neck Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost that only move on the neck. That's right. That's right. <laughs> my Lord. Go ahead. Huh? <laughs> that neck right. stuff. That's right. Like a bogglehead. Go ahead. You get what I'm talking? That's right. That's why you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. My God, when you're filled with it, it's in your head, down to your feet, down to your head. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. It must be filled with it. Amen. This old modern Holy Ghost where you got a preacher that can count to three. Right. And tell you when I count to three, the Holy Ghost going to fall. My Lord. One, two, three. And everybody jump up. He got back up, 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 back up. My Lord. You bunch of quacks. Quack. Sit down. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's no church. No. Sit, down. Sit down. Amen. How can a man turn the Holy Ghost on and turn it off when he get ready if the Holy Ghost is God? There is no man. If the Holy Ghost is God, you can't turn it on and turn it off. No way. Uh, no. No, no. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got a ghost. That's it. You're filled with the spook. That's right. Not, right. You don't have this stuff from heaven. Not from heaven. This stuff from heaven is perfect. That's right. James says every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above. Down from Come the Father down of lights. from the Father of lights. That's for right. whom there is no variables, no shadow of turning. Oh, yeah. That's the problem in the churches. No real Holy Ghost is That's there. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. No real Holy Ghost real at all. Holy Ghost. That's right, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Not real, sir. Hallelujah. Not real. The real Holy Ghost. You call the Holy Ghost when the preacher is yelling and take a microphone and da, 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 Woo! <laughs> That's right. Like he's a loose chimp in That's Africa. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's emotion. That's what it is. That's right. Emotion. Emotion That's what it and is. Holy Ghost is two different things. That's Amen. right. That's right. Holy Ghost, that's something that's governed and commissioned and ran and right. moved by God permission. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Emotion is something you feel when somebody sing a song. Sing a song. That's right. That's right. Break it down, Bob. Emotion. Break it down. You may cry. That's, right. that's true. Become emotional. Mm -hmm. Watch a movie. Amen. Emotion. Emotion. That's right. Preacher, right. pray upon your emotions. That's right. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. It's a gift. Oh yes. That comes from God. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Oh yeah. That's right. It is no such thing. You start speaking in tongues first, then God pick it up after. No way. No. It is no such thing. The preacher count the one, two, three, four, five, and you break out with an artificial tongue. Break out. Uh -uh. With it. No. It is no. plainly written right. as the Spirit. Give out of it. Give out of it. Give out of it. That's and right. if it's as the spirit yeah. give utterance, yes. that's right. Amen. You have nothing Amen. to do with it. Amen. You're just a puppet. That's it. Amen. Used by heaven. That's right. Amen. He opened your mouth by his permission. That's right. Living waters come out Amen. by his permission. Amen. That's right. Not this stuff that get from college and false churches. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. That's right. Go ahead. Amen. If you ever went to any revival, go ahead. And the preacher tell you, oh, when I count to three, right. the Lord is in this place. And when I count to three, mm. the Holy Ghost going to fall. Amen. One, two, three. You yelling? You's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. Right. That's right. Amen. That's right. I show be his Holy Ghost. Amen. That's it. That's right, sir. Hypocrite. Amen. I show be his. That's all it is. Amen. That stuff come from heaven. Man ain't got power to direct it. That's right. Amen. It directs man. That's right. Man don't direct it. No, no. Excellent. Go ahead. Excellent. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. Go ahead. 